and the Prime Minister is just playing whack-a-mole. Afford a budget that gives so much help to Canadians, the Conservatives don't even have any questions on it. Well, Pierre Polliver, true to form, grills the Bank of Canada governor in a way that should be expected almost, but uh, shocking. You just watch this. Here, floor is yours. He Governor, gets to I it. I was fascinated to hear you say that the purpose of your quantitative easing, that is these mass purchases of government bonds, is f- to help households and businesses. And you didn't mention that it was designed to help governments spend borrowed money. Uh, on April 19th, the finance minister introduced a budget which proposed a deficit of $154 billion. That works out to $3 billion a week. That's how many bonds, uh, how many dollar values worth of bonds the government will have to sell. How much are you proposing to buy every single week? Just the number, please. Right now, we're buying $3 billion a week. We well, what a coincidence that is. You've, you're going to, the government is going to be selling $3 billion worth of bonds per week, and you're going to be buying $3 billion a week. Mr. Chairman, it is a miracle. Uh, what a coincidence uh, that uh, those two numbers line up so closely. And you announced that $3 billion number exactly two days after the minister laid out the same number in her budget. Is that a pure coincidence? What I can tell you is that our purchases of government bonds are guided by our inflation target. We have seen considerable progress in the recovery. We don't need as much quantitative easing, and that's what guided our decision to reduce the amount of purchases. So so on an annual basis, the government will, will borrow a net $154 billion, and you will provide a net $156 $156 billion. So there's an extra $2 billion. Keep the change, uh, Mr. Government. Uh, that has to be a coincidence. But you're saying, no, no, the purpose of this is the inflation target. Well, three of your four measures of inflation are now above the target, which would presumably mean you would pull back. And uh, even the Financial Post said central banks and government out of touch with Main Street when it comes to rising costs of living. The Canada's food price report shows that food costs increased almost 3% last year, with an expected increase of almost 7% in meat, uh, almost 6% in bakery, and almost 7% in vegetables. Not to mention, housing prices are up more than a third in just over a year. Um, I think we have enough inflation, Mr. Governor. Uh, Why do you keep printing money? Mr. Governor, Uh, it's really quite straightforward. Uh, We're in an economy that still has major parts that are very weak. There are still far too many Canadians unemployed. Uh, There are large parts of the economy that remain uh, well below their capacity. That is all putting downward pressure uh, on inflation. And and to give you a picture in terms of actual Canadians, uh, we're still 300,000 jobs below where we were pre-pandemic level. And over the more than year, uh, new Canadians, you know, Canadian students have graduated, Canadians right. have entered the labor force. It's about uh, 500 uh, below the 500,000 below previous pandemic level. Right. That is putting downward pressure on inflation. And we are committed to supporting the recovery, getting Canadians back to work, and that is critical to get inflation sustainably at our 2% target. And that is what is guiding our policy decisions. Mr. Governor, I have no doubt that, in, that unemployment is high. The job market is terrible, but inflation is high too. You said you're, you admitted today for the first time that you're going to bump up on 3% inflation, something that you told us and your predecessor told us Uh, was not possible when you first testified about this quantitative easing program only a year ago. And the people you claim to be helping, low-wage workers, women and young people, they're the victims of inflation. You have admitted, sir, at this committee that the poor and the young and the dispossessed are disproportionately harmed by inflation because they deal more in cash 
and because they don't own assets that inflate. So why are you once again pumping billions of dollars into the system to inflate the things that the rich own, but that the poor have to buy, thus widening the gap between rich and poor? Let me clarify a couple of points. First of all, we are committed to achieving our 2% inflation target. An important, and, and that, as you highlighted, uh, is important particularly to low-income low Canadians because they tend to hold more cash than other Canadians, and so they suffer more from inflation. So it is really important, and we have a very strong record over the last 30 years uh, of achieving our 2% uh, inflation target on average, and we, content, we, we absolutely intend con to continue that. Uh, secondly, as I've highlighted, and as you mentioned, uh, there are many unemployed Canadians. There are okay. far too many Canadians out of work. With, with respect, Governor, my and question is... The best thing we can do to help those Canadians is to get them back to work. Right. Last question, and Pierre. Printing cash won't do that. Do that. Your method was tried in the early 80s. It led to stagflation, high unemployment and high inflation. You claimed that this was about, this money printing was about restoring uh, functioning of markets, but credit and capital markets are flush with cash more than ever before. You claim it's about getting to the 2% target. We're already over the 2% target. The only thing that makes any sense is that you're printing about exactly the same amount of money as this government needs to borrow. But by funding the government with printed money, you're making housing unaffordable for young people in my riding, and you're making food and other essentials unaffordable for seniors and the poor. And this, Many, this policy has here. to come to it. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, will the, the, the governor commit that he'll stop printing money and giving it to the government once we hit 3% uh, inflation? Yes governor? or no? With respect, uh, our policies are working. Uh, the economy, th this is a bad third wave. Uh, and, and, and we need to get through that. But we have seen impressive resilience in this economy, and that has a lot to do with the adaptability and resilience of Canadians, but it also has a lot to do with the fiscal and monetary supports that have been provided. Uh, this economy still has some ways to go uh, before it, we, we hit that uh, complete recovery, and what we're committed to do is to support the economy through the full length of the recovery to get inflation sustainably back on target. Thank you. Don't forget to like, dislike, subscribe, and comment. Safe Space Cafe. And always, have a good day.